But listen, I, I'm going to tell you that Al Sharpton, uh, that, uh, that Sean Hannity has become the new Al Sharpton. He's just got a pale face. I'm going to let you listen to some things that, Al, that, uh, that Hannity said just recently. Uh, in fact, as early as, as late as yesterday uh, regarding his uh, adoration and love. Um, I mean, I can't figure out which is sicker. Tribulation Trump sucking up to Kim Jong-un or Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity sucking up to um, uh, Tribulation Trump. And, but I, I want you to, those of you who, who are very narrow in your appreciation of the world as it works, you know, many, and not, not everybody, but many of you out there were having conniptions when Al Sharpton was constantly praising Barack Hussein Obama. And MSNBC gave him a, gave him a spot, I think at 5.30 or 6 o'clock, when Obama was elected to just praise Obama. And he said, I'm here just to support Obama. And, and many white folk were jumping up and down and having black babies. You know, because they, I mean, what is this? Al Sharpton using MSNBC to praise Obama. Uh, and for years, uh, many, many, many white people died of heart attacks. Many rednecks died of heart attacks. They thought it was so unjust. They thought it was so sleazy for a, a, a newscaster to just simply praise Obama all, all, all the whole hour of his broadcast. Well, check this out. Mr. Engineer, run Sean Hannity. Well, and let's see what Sean Hannity is doing over there on Fox News. Leading into the 2018 midterm elections, the Democrats' endless investigations, the hate Trump agenda is now hitting literally psychotic levels of derangement. Look, their job is to be a public servant, but they have now made it their full-time stated mission and purpose to try and batter bloody bludgeon this president at all costs. All right, now hold it right there, right there. Imagine Al Sharpton being over there talking about the Tea Party battering and, bar and, and bludgeoning uh, B B Barack Obama, and the, uh, they, they have voted on repealing the health care bill some 40 sometimes. Uh, ima imagine, just, just, just look at the hypocrisy of these white people, right? How they, I mean, they were having black babies because Al Sharpton had been given an hour on MSNBC just to praise Barack Obama uh, uh, for the entire hour. But now that Sean Hannity is doing it, all of a sudden it's righteous. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer. Or try to make President Trump unelectable in 2020. The issue of serving you, we I mean, the people, you, you doesn't just factor into a single part Sharpton of their agenda in white face. what they're publicly now, let's announcing. Call, let's now, call you Sean Hannity, tonight's Al Sharpton in white face. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer. I want you to ask yourself, is what you are seeing from the new far left Democratic Party? Is what party you're seeing from the Tea good Party good for you? Good for your family. Good for you. Good, good for is America. Is creating a safer country is for the Tea Party? Kids, a more prosperous nation. Is any of this about serving the American people? Is well, the chase the Obama's birth certificate? Is like this about the American in people? In the past, that once the Democrats' collusion hysteria was exposed as a fraud. They wouldn't apologize. They wouldn't admit they're wrong. They were just going to pivot into investigating now, the anything party, they make they up. Want, they lost the election. The uh, they, they, Obama's the not president. Will now be subject to what look it, at will be them. the biggest, most gruesome display of modern-day McCarthyism, which is just a, the widest Al Sharpton and Whiteface, everybody. All in an effort Al to destroy the and president and anybody who supports him. Because the bottom line is all they care about is getting their power back so they can institute socialism. The only thing the Tea right Party and the Republicans country. care about Instead is getting their power back the truth, from that black man Obama. They're lying to you. Because Obama they was black. The launch of the broadest, most sweeping witch hunt into simultaneous. I mean, going after his birth certificate, and going business, after where he was born. Every and, single thing he has I mean, done as a candidate and as president. All designed to create a false narrative about who this president is. Uh, never talk about to, the there success. they go. They played no part in that. That Tea Party. On full display. Those Republicans. Those conservatives. Investigation number one. Well, that comes from the House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler, targeting President Trump, his family, his businesses. And today, he issued 80 document requests, which went out to everyone from the president's son, Eric and Don Jr., the Trump Organization, Carter Page, George Papadopoulos. Now, all of these people are going to have to hire attorneys. Who's going to pay that fortune? Many of these people have already testified. Many of them have. Remember what happened to Michael Flynn, General Flynn in the case, he had to sell his house. 
Now, by the way, to sign. I, I'm, I'm, he nearly I, I went think this broke. is a great idea. He had that to these sign something he didn't believe to be true. The whole strategy is about Gerald battering, Nadler. harassing, making insinuations about the president and his allies under heavy legal cost and nothing to do with seeking truth. Yeah, you can call it a witch on if you want, but anything, what about the president? They're going to throw everything well, goes around, the wall, around, comes around, Al Sharpton sticks. and Whiteface. You know, they'll throw out every wild conspiracy theory possible. And of course, they talking about conspiracy theories. Oh, come on, years, come on. Benghazi, mob has lied Hillary Clinton's they emails, they won't retract, the birth they won't certificate, they won't the Kenyan the birth. Talking about conspiracy theories. Oh, crack. come on now. Let's move on to the next lying narrative, the next conspiracy theory. All right, what Among is the it? the Democrats' investigations that involves 2016 plans to build Trump Tower in Moscow. Wow, it never happened. And the president's lawful it did happen. direct decision You're lying. to fire James You are Cole, lying, boy. Cole You're lying. Himself, You're lying. You know it. You know it happened. Every right to do for any You're reason lying, or boy. no reason. It sounds so eerily familiar, right? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, eerily familiar. Let's pull that phrase out. You sound just like Al Sharpton with a white face, the boy. American people in the election. Let the process play out. But of course, this only confirms everything we have been predicting. The Democrats' only agenda now is to make every single working day in Washington a public trial against President Trump. Listen to Congressman Nadler. Oh, by the way, he's already concluded that the president is guilty of a crime, obstructing justice. And listen to Sean Hannity. You had me on your like show, old oh boy. Sean Hannity, you, you had me on your show because you were concluded that Obama was a natural born. You had me on your show, homie. You, I mean, uh, come on. All right. I just, go back. Go back to the do you think screen. the president obstructed justice? Yes, I do. If it, it's very clear that the president obstructed justice. It's very clear. Uh, 1,100 times he referred to the Mueller investigation as a witch hunt. He tried to, he, he fired, uh, uh, he tried to protect uh, Flynn from being uh, investigated by the, uh, by the FBI. He fired Comey in order to stop the, the Russian thing as he told uh, uh, NBC News. He, uh, He's dangled part. He's, it, he's threatened. He's intimidated witnesses in public. Intimidate, given his opinion about the witch hunt. No, that's called freedom Al of speech. Al Sharpton in whiteface. Because he fired Comey. Al Sharpton in whiteface. Bring, up, bring him back that. up again. Remember this. When I was appointed FBI director now, he's taking in 2013, this out of context. And he's, he just, I understood he, that I served saw, at the pleasure of the president. Listen. Even though I was appointed to a 10-year term, which Congress created in order to underscore the importance of the FBI being outside of politics and independent, I understood that I could be fired by a president for any reason or for no reason at all. Any reason or no reason. Now yeah, listen, Sean, and listen, Al Sharpton and Whiteface, you know you are abusing that particular, you're taking that out of context and you know that you are, but go ahead, you just Al Sharpton and Whiteface, but go ahead, Mr. Engineer. Fire the FBI director for no reason at all. Don't forget, Nadler himself said back in 2016, Barack Obama. And now you're going to double down on it. You're bring Gerald Nally in and having the election. Same thing. How ironic. I mean, you're just doubling oh, down. This, this could be Thank MSNBC going back five years ago with Al Sharpton, <laughs> going back seven years ago to Al Sharpton, eight years ago, Al Sharpton promoting Barack Hussein Obama. Sean Hannity, you are second fiddle to Al Sharpton. You can't even tie Al Sharpton's shoes in terms of support. Of, uh, of of Trump, the way Al Sharpton supported Obama, and you're second to the party, you're second to the dance, and we are getting seconds. Of Fox News people are getting seconds because you are nothing more than an Al Sharpton wannabe with white face. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer. What he did was was so highly improper and wrong. Uh, from the very beginning in July, the president ought to fire Comey immediately, and he ought to in initiate an investigation. Can't just fire in Comey. Oh yes, he can. Why? For cause, he can fire oh, for cause because he you know he's got a set term. Set so term he, he's so he's insulated but from political but the president payback like this. For cause and ought to. There's a very serious side to all of this. What this is really all investigate about Obama's birth certificate. Investigate 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 Obama's birth certificate. Enact this radical socialist agenda for America's future. That's what it's all about, power and their agenda. Because they can't get it done any other way. They don't think. And by the way, they don't think. their mother ah! isn't going to give them what they okay. want. That's why this is now plan B and C and D and E and F all at once. 
Look at everything. Open a widest net possible. All things Trump. Anything he's come into contact with over decades, then concoct news conspiracy theories. Oh, let's go all the way back to Obama's birth in but don't Kenya. Don't serve the American people. Send your own course over there to Kenya. The, House Intel the interview is grandma. Who, by the way, I can prove is the biggest the tea party, the tea party, the tea party. He can now barely the contain himself. You know, to say he he will accept all they want Mueller's is their findings. power back. Accept White people Instead, want their power he's back. A new set of investigations after two years of investigation into the so-called Russia Trump conspiracy after theory. After two years of this a so-called birth certificate, evidence, so-called birth certificate, the so-called birth certificate. After years and years of investigating, the so-called birth certificate will be here in a minute. Also, remember, if you want real evidence of real collusion, Adam Schiff, we have him on tape colluding with Russians, literally conspiring to dig up dirt on Donald Trump. We have the tape of it, colluding with Russians. You're lying, for Sean. Dirt on Trump. You are lying. Are somebody you called, play this? Somebody called was, Adam Schiff. He just took the call. He was in Moscow he did in not. November this is, this, You're lying, Al, 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 Al Sharpton with white face. No, she's you're, poor, Al, you're Al Sharpton wannabe. You're lying, Sean Hannah. You're Al Sharpton wannabe. You're lying. But go ahead, Mr. Engineer. List. But anyway, uh, she became famous because of uh, Putin is her godfather. Okay, Putin is godfather. Okay. She also known as a person who provides uh, uh, girls for escort for oligarchs, and she met with Trump, and she brought him one hour Russian girl celebrity Olga Buzova, who also known as a person with a strange reputation. Olga, and and how do you spell her name? Olga Buzova. And what's the nature of the compromise? Now, these are two well, Russian there were guys pictures of naked a prank Trump. On Adam Schiff, yeah, so he's, he's getting aware uh, of the, the availability of the compromising material. He's taking information. Yes, I, I Thank you very much. Are real. We will be back in touch uh, with you through our staff uh, to make uh, arrangements and, and, and Sean uh, to obtain that, these materials for our committee and, and for the FBI. And, and I appreciate you reaching he out to us. He knows this was a prank. Yes, thank you, comrade. By the way, we've invited Chip on this program any night. Give me a full hour. I'll even add my radio show. Al Sharpton want to be. Al Sharpton want to be. In the country. Is Al Sharpton want to be? Sean Hannity is Al Sharpton want to be? Sean Hannity is Al Sharpton in whiteface. I have every lie of his chronicled. Everyone, you should take Bill Maher's advice. All right, moving further along. Now, as we continue, because all of this will go down as the biggest malfeasance of duty, oversight, abuse of power by Democrats to use their positions now to advance their own position, just fueled by utter blind rage, trying to either impeach Trump, destroy Trump based on nothing, you know, just throwing anything out there to damage him, um, so he's unelectable. Well, that's not good for the country. Ask yourself, is there anything the Democrats are talking about is it have anything to do with growing the economy, creating jobs, or anything to do to create a safer, more prosperous future for our country? Because yeah, don't forget, get rid last of Trump. week they put partisan <laughs> politics get rid over of Trump the prospect and all that of denuclearization. Money he's stealing from the Treasury and giving it to rich folks. Diplomacy. That's what they're President talking about. President Trump, he took notice, he tweeted out, for the Democrats to interview in open hearings a convicted liar, fraudster, at the same time as a very important nuclear summit with North Korea is perhaps a new low in American politics and may have well, contributed Sean to Hannity, the Ash, war. Be, Trump Never is also a convicted co-conspirator uh, and a liar that has, that has perpetrated more than 8,000 lies and lies all the time. And you know he lies all the time. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer. And we played that for you last week. Imagine being so consumed with hate, the rules are being rewritten as we speak. And so yeah, I'm consumed, about so consumed with hate. Now you go ought to, go, to you know, go back to the to the Tea Party on, on, on there and back in 2011, 2010 rather. Go back to that Tea Party um, and 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 look at all the signs out there of hate against Obama. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Sean Hannity. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Al Sharpton want you Al Sharpton want to be, and you ain't even as good as Al. Go ahead, Miss Engineer. Mine. All them signs down there, that tea party about. down in Washington House Democrats, a few years back. You know, my God, they talk used about to hate. Be, you know, for the guy that, what, use Michael Cohn, who's already going to jail to try and score cheap political points when the country should have been united in pursuit of such a noble goal of a safer world. 
It just looks like their stun is starting to backfire. Look at the new poll, 37% registered vo voters found the testimony credible and facing unprecedented efforts to thwart his agenda. Oh, the president's job approval continues to rise. His economic victories, they continue to pile up. New census data is you know, out. All the that, Hispanic all that, poverty all that, rate has stuff. now you, fallen to a record Obama, low in Obama, this country. Obama's that's economy, on top Sean. of the near and record you know, low unemployment Sean, for the you know Hispanic American you know community. Shopping, you know Al Sharpton, you Al Sharpton, you know that economy, women in the workplace, and stop that. My best friend is a black man. Stop it. Talk about black folk are not doing better, not better jobs. That's the same old line. My best friend is a black man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't stop the, the video. Man. First time in 75 years. Look at the crowded come, CPAC this weekend. Come, going wild for the look at president's who, rousing two-hour speech. Who Take was a look. hugging the, uh, the American flag. More people are working today in the United States than ever before in the history of our country. Here comes, here comes. We've slashed 30,000 pages of job-killing regulations from the Federal Register. That's an all-time record of the history this of the United really States. The we passed the largest package he should be of the tax side. cuts and reforms in American history. What's he talking about? We're renegotiating right now. We're renegotiating horrible right now. Trade deals. Horrible trade deals. That we're cracking down. They are cracking down. And we are really doing the number. Cracking really down on number. countries that really cheat. Nice. Everything is nice. And standing up for the American Fabulous. worker for the first time but in many, many decades. First time in many, many and years. the president didn't stop there taking direct aim at the radical Democrats and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Oh, the crazy, he comes insane out the Green now. New Deal that they love. Do you see blood running out of her the eyes? Green New hey, Trump, Deal, you see blood right? running green out of Alexandria Ocasio's eyes? I encourage and, and it. I, think the, I think it's blood! Really running out of her eyes that they should promote they should work hard on no planes no energy when the wind stops blowing that's the end of your electric let's hurry up <laughs> darling darling is the wind blowing day i'd like to watch television darling now it's revealed just like socialist comrade bernie sanders well, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez rhetoric doesn't seem to match her actions. According to a new major expose, New York Post, Ocasio-Cortez prefers planes instead of trains when traveling between Washington, D.C. and New York, uh, okay, racking up this huge this transportation. Enough. This enough. I think that it's important for us to recognize that Jesus said that, uh, you know, people, the, the, one of the human frailties is that they can always see uh, the splinter in their brother's eye, but cannot see the log in their own eye. And it, the, the, the irony here is that, and it really, Sean Hannity is an Al Sharpton wannabe, and in turn, maybe doesn't want to be Al Sharpton, but it, it, they, they seem to forget, and the people that watch Fox News and watch Al, uh, Sean Hannity seem to forget that MSNBC put Al Sharpton to do the same thing that Sean Hannity is doing now for 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 uh, uh, for, for Trump, tribulation Trump. They don't. I don't think people connect the dots. It, it appears that people don't have a the intellectual, logical, integral integral strength to recognize. You know that when Al Sharpton was doing what Sean Hannity was doing, they wanted to hang him. I mean, they thought it was so evil. They thought it was so wrong when Al Sharpton was continually praising Obama, going down to the White House 81 times Al Sharpton was invited to the White House. And I, I've been getting reports that Tribulation Trump does not go to bed at night until he talks to Sean Hannity. After Sean Hannity does his broadcast, he immediately calls Tribulation Trump. They talk on the phone for a little while, and then they both go to sleep. I mean, this is, this is sick. But the thing I want to, I, 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 Sean Hannity is not going to listen, and, and neither is Fox News. Everybody's getting paid money. But to those of you out there who condemned Al Sharpton for praising Obama, loving Obama, Obama could do no wrong stopping all investigations to Obama. I mean, don't you see that, Sharp, that, that Sean Hannity is doing the same thing, but not quite as effective as Al Sharpton, and he's not a first like Al Sharpton. He's just a wannabe, and he's ineffective, and he has a smaller audience. Sean Hannity has a smaller audience than Al Sharpton when he was praising Obama. And effectively, you might want to say Al Sharpton delivered the goods 
for Obama. He was never brought to trial. He was never publicly uh, impeached. But you're not going to be able to say that about tribulation Trump. Strange. The world of, of politics and people who can't see their own problems while they're complaining about someone else who has done something similar, but far less. I'm James David Manning, everybody. I'm the Lord Servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.